Hello everybody and welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you five elemental design tips and tricks you're probably not aware of or make use of custom codes or plugins to achieve. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive in. So the first on our list is the custom unit. This is a new feature that has been added to the Elemental 3.10 update and above. With this feature, you can mix and match different units. This feature allows you to use different units for margin, padding and any other option that has unit so to make use of this feature let's take for instance this container here we want to uh, tweak tweak it a bit so let's go to the edit container now as you can see for the padding of the container we have 100 pixel all through so now for this we can we can actually tweak this and mix different units for this particular padding for the container so to do this right above here where you see the 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 unit uh option here you just click on it and you scroll down and you see this pencil icon so once you click on the pencil icon now this it opens up and gives you this option where you can type in your units type in your values and it will all take effect on the website so now but to make you make use of this effectively you need to unlink the values so we're just going to unlink this and then we're going to tweak our um container and then add some padding to it so now take for instance we can give the padding to the top uh 10 percent to the top we can say 10 percent to the top and then we can we can say to the bottom uh 100 100 pixel to the bottom we can give 100 pixel to the bottom and then you can even give to the right you can say to the right um uh, let's say uh, 3% you can give the right 3% and uh, then you can also give the left 30, 30 pixel or 50 pixel let's say 50 pixel to the left 50 pixel to the left and now this is what we we'll get now, this is what we we'll get for for this particular container this is this is what we we'll get mixing different units the read so with this particular feature, you can even make use of some math functions such as uh, minimum, maximum, and so on. So this is a very powerful feature that Elementor has given to uh, to its users. And I think you, if you're not aware of this feature, you might want to consider checking it out. The next feature we'll be talking about is the clickable flexbox container. Now, what this feature does is it allows you to make an entire container. Let's say you design a container in form of a card and you want to make that container clickable. With this feature, you can do that. So to do that, you just need to edit the container you want to make clickable and you go down under the layout option. You come down to the additional options and the HTML tag. You just toggle this and you scroll down to where you see a link and then you select it. Now this gives you the option to add your link. Here, if you're using the, the free version, you can just add your link. And if you're using the pro version, it gives you the ability to use dynamic tag as well. So I'm just going to use dynamic tag to do this and set it to uh, the set site URL. So now we, when you publish this and you go to your home page uh, to preview your settings, you can see this container is now clickable when I take my cursor out you see it's just the arrow arrowhead and I will get it on this container it shows the pointer whereas these other containers are still the same with the arrowhead now you notice that the text color for this container has changed to something reddish now worry not this is a particular uh, issue that you can just fix easily by just going back and making sure that all the texts in that particular container that you've made a link has a color set to them do not use the default color leave it at default color just make sure you set a color to it or else it's going to take the default color for link on your website and then just make it make the text that color so another thing I'm, I, I would like you to understand is that when you make a particular container clickable make sure you do not add link within that container just as it's warning us here or else it's going to break the structure now you can test that out by let's say we we'll add a button here and then we we'll just give the button a link we'll give the button a link and then when we we'll publish this now and we we'll go to our our page to view what we've published you can see you can see what will happens 
you see it has broken our layout so you just make sure you avoid adding a link within any container you've made clickable so this is another wonderful feature that if you're not aware of you might want to consider trying it out All right. so the next i'm going to talk about is the css transform and this particular uh, feature came into uh, elementor starting from uh, version 3.5 down upwards and this feature allows you to transform your your images container widgets depending on how you want and how creative you can be now to assess this feature take for instance we want to transform this image i just go to edit this image and then we'll now come down to where we see the transform now here on the normal state you can rotate this image you can rotate it anyhow you want you can, as you can see you can even toggle on the 3d rotation and you can see how this this is done you can see this this you, as you can see yeah so this also allows you to set the offset you can move it to the left to the right up and down as you please as it pleases you you can even scale the image you can scale it up reduce the size scale it up reduce it and scale it and do other stuff such as you can skew the image as well you see distort the image change it on all directions and then you can flip the image uh, horizontally you can flip it vertically you can even perform some kind of animation with this feature on hover take for instance when you hover we can set it, the image to uh, rotate on hover you can see it rotates on hover you can even set your transition duration here and then you can see the rotation is now slow and then you can scale the image as well on hover take you see because you can see when you hover it it reduce in size and then it comes back you can even add some offset as well when you hover it moves you hover it moves so this is a wonderful feature that you might want to consider using now if you're not aware that this feature is present in elementor this is your chance to find out th this feature and then make use of it as it pleases you the next i'll be talking about is the image maxing feature some of us have I've been aware of this feature and I've been making use of it but for the benefit of those that are not aware that this feature is present on Elementor now this is your opportunity to know about it now what this feature does is it allows you to max your images into different shapes and, and sizes as well so to do so you just need to edit the image or even the video as well and then you come down to uh, the go to the advanced settings and under the advanced settings you go to the max and you toggle this on now you can see from the various list of shapes you can max your image into uh, either circular flower there is a sketch option there is a triangle uh, the blob and the hexagonal and the good thing about this is it also allows you to upload custom images as well now what you just need to do is to upload either a png file or an svg file so to I'll, I'll show you a website where you can download free png shapes or better still you can even create one using photoshop if you're good with photoshop so this is the website uh, the pngwing.com i'm going to include this in the description of the video so you can access it whenever you want and you can search for the kind of shapes you want there are various shapes here that you can use i've already downloaded two out of these shapes that we're going to upload and use so this these are the ones we're going to make use of so let's go back and then let's under the custom let's upload these images i'm just going to drag this and i'm going to drop it there i'll drag this as well i'll drag this as well and then i'm going to drop it here so let's so we select this and then you can see the images are the our image has taken the shape of this custom image we've uploaded we should choose this other one as well and then we'll upload it to see it takes the image so this is another wonderful design tip that you might want to use to spice up your design and be more creative so if you're not aware of this now this is your opportunity to start making use of this wonderful feature that elementor provides the last on our list is the text stroke feature now this feature has been available on the elemental page builder for quite some while now and i believe a lot of us may have been ignoring it or probably not even aware that this feature is there so what this feature does is with this feature you can design heading text and make some creative heading text with it so now to do so you just need to click on the edit icon and then you go to on the text you want to add some stroke to you just go to the style option and then you scroll down and you see where it's written text stroke and then you click on 
the pencil icon here now you can see this adds the test stroke to it you can increase the pixel to 2 pixel decrease it to 2 pixel you can increase it to 5 pixels depending on what you want and then you can also change the the, the, the stroke color you can change it to whatever you want and then come up with nice designs and so on so another way to go about this is to make you should try to change the text color to match for the background of the container so that your text stroke comes out so to do so let's copy this uh, background color now we'll copy the background color and we'll go back to the text editor uh, to the heading text and then we'll change the text color from default value to this value as you can see this now makes it look more beautiful and more attractive to the eyes so this is another wonderful feature that you can use to create nice and beautiful designs using the elemental page builder and so that's it for now if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and if you're new to our channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next we upload a new video and more wonderful videos will be coming up soon so stay tuned and see you next time. Bye-bye.